y'all it's your girl kai and i am back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai thank you so much for tuning into my channel definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe before we get right into this video okay so i know i look real funny but this isn't my first time coming on camera looking funny let's rewind a little bit y'all know i had my wash and go in i did my winter wash and go routine but after i came out so after i came out of my mini twist i was going to dye my hair wash it condition it and then go into my winter wash and go but the way the weekend was set up and me just running out of time and just having too much stuff and i was just like okay look i'm gonna have to cut something out of this i do not have time to dye my hair right now i just did not have the time to actually do it i was like i'll save it for next week and plus my color can go on clean hair so to me it doesn't really matter if my hair is clean or dirty there's been a time where i came out of a five week box braid set and dyed my hair the color still takes the same of course i'm gonna rinse it with cool water it's important that you do not rinse your hair with hot water when doing color because all you're gonna do is strip the color right out of it if you use hot water you're literally stripping the color right out of your head that you just put in it has been about seven months since I dyed my hair. So I did do a video exactly like this seven months ago when I was still just very new to YouTube. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. And this is it. I know y'all can't tell. Y'all can never tell the difference between my hair being brown and black until I actually have the dye on my roots. But Y'all know we're gonna use my girl. We are going to be using the Garnier Nutrice today. This is the color that I always, always, always use. I'm just doing the roots, okay? Make sure when you are dyeing your hair that if you are touching it up, just touch it up. Touch up the roots, okay? Because if you keep dyeing your hair and you're constantly putting the hair on the shaft of your hair that's already the color that you want it to be, you're just stripping and damaging your hair even more, okay? That's all you're doing. So just make sure that you're getting it on the section of hair that needs to be colored. So this is my hair here. My wash and go was not old. My hair was not dirty or anything like that, but I was just like, let me go ahead and put my color in, so. Let's do it. Let's go and slap this color in. Thank you. 
you guys so i'm done my hair is completely covered in in this mulberry 22 my hair is completely covered in this mulberry 22 intense blue black by garnier nutrice okay and it's just looking lovely already like look at it just blending together so as you can see what i was trying to show y'all in the video is that the ends and the shaft of my hair now matches my root like when i put the back of my hair up here next to all this and it was all the same color that's what we were going for okay i'm just gonna let this sit in my hair for about 30 minutes nothing crazy because you know we just don't need to sit in that long i'm taking my cargo bag and i'm gonna put it on top just like this Squeeze it, get all that air out of it, twist it, and take my ears out. And it's already been in for, I say it's been in for about five to seven minutes already, rounds up to 10. And so I'm gonna just set my alarm for like 20 more minutes for this, but I'm gonna rinse it out downstairs and I'm gonna come back when it's time for me to put the conditioner on it. I'm just let this sit for now. I have a roast in the oven right now, so I'm gonna go check on that. And I'll be back when all of this is rinsed out of my hair and we put the conditioner on. All right, y'all, so your girl is back. <laughs> okay. Look, I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. Go ahead and show y'all the finished product. I scrubbed the life out of my edges. Look at them, they exhausted. I scrubbed the life out of my edges. So, I rinsed my hair completely out and then I went in with some shampoo. Used the, I, I used a little bit of shampoo, but I definitely got a chance to get all of that color out, okay? So, it's still just a little bit on my edges. I wanna say my edges are just tinted a little bit, like it's just a little darker, but that's fine because I'm gonna have another opportunity to rinse it out. But here's my hair. It looks so much better, y'all. Like, oh my goodness, it looks so much better. I don't care if you can't tell, baby, I could tell. Put this over here, had this over here. And so since I only have two of these, okay, we're gonna use one on each side. And then I'm also gonna go in with some of this stuff. I don't know if y'all remember me doing a review on this line with the Shea Moisture. Um, it was like the Make It Last Wash and Go line. This is the Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Revival Oil. And I like this oil. So this is just like an oil spray. This is what color it is. And I've been using it whenever I condition my hair. So let me go ahead and try to put this conditioner on my hair before my hair dries. Whenever I condition my hair, like y'all will just see, I'll just honestly spray it. So I'm just gonna put it all along my hair, just like this. And I rinsed my hair with cold water. You get used to it. You really do get used to it. Especially for my high porosity girls, you're gonna get used to rinsing your hair with cool water because you're just gonna see how much healthier your hair is when you're rinsing it with cold water. Split it in half. And you see like this little bottle is almost gone already. So I'm just gonna, I'm really gonna try to focus it on where the dye was at because Yes, even though, you know, I need conditioner all over my hair because I just went in with a little bit of shampoo. Um, the purpose of me going in with a little bit of shampoo was to get the excess dye off of my scalp. And I know some people um, had questions for me in the last video I did. They were like, I didn't know that you could wash your hair after you dye it, like immediately after you dye it. And I was like, you can just make sure that, basically just make sure that you're rinsing your hair with cold water still. Because the only thing that's gonna take the color out, shampoo isn't gonna take the color out that you just did, okay? Unless you did a rinse, then it'll take the color out. But other than that, the only thing that will take the color out that you just did is hot water. That's why I have always just been able to rinse my hair and going with a little bit of shampoo for my roots and for my scalp. That's why I've always been able to do that because I'm doing it ultimately with cold water. And 
And since I don't have a lot of conditioner, I have to make sure that it is coated very nicely. My hair is so soft right now. That's why I love this stuff. As you can see, I used all of this one. It's all gone. Y'all, I be having to use all my strength to get this stuff out of this itty bitty bottle because I need it all. Cause it's really not enough conditioner because y'all know us naturals, we gotta use, we need a whole bunch of conditioner. Like we just need it. Like we don't know why we need it, but we just need it. I don't know if it, I wish y'all could touch my hair through the camera. It's so soft. Like who you know who hair be this soft after dying it? <laughs> Please tell me. Because y'all, my hair is so soft, okay? It feels amazing. It feels absolutely amazing. Only thing is, oh my gosh, it's so hard to get the rest of this product out of the bottle. Like I have the Incredible Hulk, the little bottles. That's why they be bent up and destroyed when I get done because I done Incredible Hulk them to get all the product out. We got all this conditioner throughout our hair. So now what I'm going to do next, because my hair is gonna stay like this until I honestly feel like unraveling it and rinsing it out. I always like to, whenever I do do conditioner in my hair, I like to put oil on top of it because I feel like it's gonna lock in everything, all the bit of moisture and everything that the conditioner is trying to provide to my hair. So I'm just gonna take the stuff I showed y'all earlier and just spray it. Literally just spray it all over. Because even though I don't like to use this stuff, well, I haven't tried it with any other products to style it with. I don't feel like I need it. But even though I haven't used it for anything other than doing my deep conditioning or just my regular conditioning, I still just, I like it. Cause it smells good and everything like, get my edges and all that good stuff. So it's in that side. We're gonna go ahead and put it on this side too. Does anybody have a hard time holding these bottles? Like my wrists be cramping up and everything. It be sliding out my hand like, ah, come on. I know it's not just me. Like why can't it be a mist? Like this is a workout. And especially when I go to this side of my head, it's definitely a workout. Cause I'm trying to like get it in there. But then what I'll do is I'll just spray it in my hand like this. And then I do like this. <laughs> That's another easy way to do it. My hair is fully coated in conditioner. Okay, I'm gonna turn around to the back for whatever reason. I'm just gonna turn around to the back because I just wanna show y'all everything. So I don't know if my hair feels as soft as it looks, but I mean, I don't know if my hair looks as soft as it feels. Y'all knew what I meant though. But we are done, so I'm just gonna flip my hair over for these next steps. Uh, 
and I've got it all up. I'm just gonna twist it into a little ball. Big old nut, just like this. And I'm gonna put my satin scrunchie on it, just like that. Now that that's up, we're gonna grab another cargo bag. Put it on our head. I'm sorry if y'all thought this was gonna be classy, but no, baby. We bring home grocery bags for a reason. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm just gonna leave this conditioner in for, you know, overnight. And then when I wake up, I'm gonna put my turban on to go with my outfit, to go to brunch, and all this, this nice stuff. This is another video on how I dye my natural hair and how to dye your hair safely and to make sure that it just stays healthy and continues to flourish. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one.